Hello, family. <laughs> this is uh, Jastaria Curry, and I'm coming at you live <laughs> uh, with another informative video. And I hope you guys are all doing well. Again, I'm Jastaria Curry with the Curry Squared family. Today, I wanted to talk to you about, and really talk to my moms today, about self-care. Now, if you are a mom and you have babies <laughs> and you are planning these international travels, you're focusing on the budget, uh, you're checking on the emotional stability of your children, you know, you're being a wife, you're being a mom. I mean, the list just goes on for what you do on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, you often get overwhelmed. You get stressed. And if you're not taking care of yourself, if you're putting yourself at the bottom of the barrel in terms of caring, <laughs> you know, caring for yourself, then you can run into some problems, you know, burnout and stress and breakdowns and all of that. And so um, today I hope to be able to share with you some tips that I use and plan on using um, to put yourself more so at the top of the list so that you are able to fully and cap you know, you're capable of being able to take care of yourself. Um, you know, the saying goes is that you can't um, pour anything out of an empty vessel. You know, you can't, if your vessel is already empty, then you're not able to um, be the best for yourself and you're not able to help other people. So, especially you take care of your babies and your husband. So, um, here are some tips that I find helpful for myself that kind of help me, especially in those moments when I myself get overwhelmed. I am planning um, our trip to Thailand and I'm doing research, research, research. I am up late at night, burning that night oil, burning the candle at both ends, really. <laughs> Um, you know, doing more research. And when you find that you are researching, there's actually more research that comes out of that. <laughs> so the research never ends. Um, and then, you know, as far as the budget, making sure we're staying on budget, on target, making sure we have the funds necessary to be able to make the trip and do the things that we're doing. And um, oftentimes if I am by myself, I'm usually thinking about how to take care of somebody else, <laughs> you know. And so uh, I often too put myself on the back burner and I'm learning that as I get older, it's, it's a necessary thing to be able to take care of yourself. Um, it is not a selfish thing. You are not selfish if you think of yourself. Um, I definitely think when it comes to being selfish, you know, there is a line there. There are some moms that could care less about their kids and that's not what I'm talking about. But I'm talking about the mothers that go out here, work hard every day, to provide a good life for their children. I'm talking to the mothers who are in other countries and are in foreign lands, you know, trying to create a beautiful life for their children, education for their children. Um, you know, talking to the mothers like me who are getting ready to make that trip uh, overseas and start our journey as well and understand what it's like to, you know, life is a big question mark, you know, and you're just trying to find the answers. And so I'm talking to those mothers as well. Taking some time out for yourself is not selfish and it's a necessary thing. So I don't know who said that, who um, said that it was selfish to um, take some time out for yourself, but uh, that person needs to knock it off. All right, so let's get into, and you know me, notes, <laughs> because I like to stay on track and get to the point. Okay, you guys like my earrings? I always try to display my earrings, grapes, very fun, very lightweight. They don't drag your ears down. Very great. All right, let's get to it. So, um, one of the things that when I was writing this article that came to mind was when we were in the airplane, um, headed over to Dublin and, um, the airline stewardess was standing up there, you know, with her usual bright and cheery attitude, right? And one of the things that she said to me, that she said to all of us, that kind of stood out to me now as I was writing this article and uh, preparing this vlog, was that in the event of an emergency, if the oxygen masks are, you know, basically descending down, <laughs> you know, 
put your oxygen mask on first before you go and help other people. And that stuck out to me. And I'm like, you know what? That is so true. How many of us are running around right now out of oxygen, <laughs> barely breathing <laughs> because we did not put our own oxygen mask on first, but yet we are running around here in these streets trying to take care of everybody else, trying to do that one last thing, trying to be superwoman. You know, uh, over the years I've learned that when people told me I was a strong woman, I began to, to be upset by that. And I'll tell you why. I began to be upset by it because I felt like if you're telling me that I'm a strong woman, that means you're gonna come dump more stuff on me, more stuff for me to do, more stuff for me to handle. Why do you need to do anything when you have a strong woman, uh, you know, with you? You, you know, you could just give her everything. And um, I realized my role in that and how people could see and understand that. Um, I don't see myself as a weak woman at all, but you know, I am strong. But I also have weak moments. Um, I am strong, but I also have scramble brain moments. And there are times when I don't want to do it all. And so um, that, you know, what the stewardess said, it was just, it just, it just clicked for me in my mind. Like, yeah, you know, how many times do we do that? How many times do we, you know, don't even put the mask on? We just jump to go and help other people. And without realizing it, we're suffering from lack of oxygen ourselves. So these are some of the things that that I do and I would recommend you uh, you guys do you women do um, that could possibly help you okay and that have helped me and that continue to help me and some things that I have to smack myself and say hey get out there and do it <laughs> you know um, and so the first thing is prayer okay now I'm a woman of faith and I believe in prayer wholeheartedly Okay, prayer is, is very important to me. Prayer gives me a peace of mind. It gives me a stronger and deeper connection with, with my creator. Um, it puts me in a position where I relinquish control. Because a lot of times, you know, the scripture is clear. It says, cast your cares upon him before, because he cares for you. And that is so true. As women, we walk around, we have so many cares. You know, um, we have cares just about our, our regular life problems and struggles and things we deal with, our children, our husbands and that uh, sort. But also when you're talking about going overseas and, and what that means, then you have even more concerns and more cares. Even if you weren't going overseas, let's say even if you're just planning a trip to, I don't know, California somewhere or, you know, Canada, you know, um, you have concerns and cares and, and, you know, stuff like that. It can be, and it could be for anything, bills and life and all of that. So you have a lot of cares and it can weigh on you. It could weigh on your mind. And so what I've realized in my life is that I can only deal with what I can control. I can't control everything. And so I have to give over to the most high what I cannot control. And so it gives me, through prayer, it gives me an opportunity to relinquish that control and really trust that the Most High has my back and, and understand that no matter what, He has a purpose and a plan for me and my family and His will is the best way. And so uh, no matter what, I draw comfort in that. I can pray and just dump everything off, get it all off my chest, get it all off my mind and just trust and believe that He's going to work it out according to His will. So prayer is importante in, in my book second thing journaling journaling is nothing new uh, it's, it's actually quite consistently recommended um, in a lot of the psychological realms <laughs> you know but I feel like it's been very helpful for me because it also gives me an opportunity to do what I call brain dumping brain dumping is where you know whatever you got on your mind that day it could be good bad ugly whatever if you, whatever concern what do you need to do whatever it is write it down get it out of your mind get it out of your chest get it out of your heart get it out of your spirit just write it all down whatever you're concerned about for the day whatever's worrying you for the day whatever feel anger happy sad whatever just write it out it is a good way to release okay release those feelings and emotions that you have pent up on the inside of you um and that in fact if, if they're pent up too much they can make you sick um and so i know that i tend to suppress a lot of feelings and emotions and i've learned over the years that that's not healthy <laughs> um for various reasons and they always will come up 
it'll always come back up out of you um, and it may be at the wrong time <laughs> you definitely don't want that so get the get it out of you just journal you know any and everything you can think of just get everything out of your mind uh, you can do it first thing in the morning or you can do it after your day and you know I tend to do better at night and so I'm usually up everybody sleep nobody's mommy this honey that it's I can just write and just dump everything from my day you know and after I pray and all of that and then I'm ready to go to bed <laughs> um, so that helps you know me just dump it out of your brain okay the third thing is take time for yourself now no matter where you are in the world it is important to take time for yourself I don't care if you are in these mean streets in New York City or if you are in the backwoods of Bali Indonesia okay take time for yourself now if you're traveling across the world with your family nine times out of ten it's you and your significant other and so what you're gonna have to do is hey honey I'm gonna take this time for myself and I'm gonna go here and maybe you know a couple hours when I get back you can go take your time you're gonna have to figure out how to do that now if you're single a lot of your alone time will have to come when the kids are asleep um, now if you're like me not too trusting of people with my children so I don't know about babysitters and all that kind of stuff um, that takes some serious trust right there <laughs> um, but you know if you find somebody that you can trust that can watch your children for an hour or two or three or four however many you need um, to go get some time for yourself you must do that I don't care if you you know go for a walk um, I don't care if you take up a class if you're creative and you like art go take an art class or go sit and paint and draw um, everybody I feel needs that time to just check out you know and just be to themselves and we as women especially need that time um, how do you know when you're not getting the time you need you're probably a little more anxious you're probably a little more irritable uh, you're probably ready to scratch somebody's eyes out um, and your your patience is on zero that's how you know you need you need some time to yourself and you have to demand it it's it's not a hey if we got a little time can you squeeze me in no it's I need my time I need that to be respected children I need you to figure out what you're gonna do honey I need you to figure out how to make a sandwich and everybody go have several seats <laughs> okay that's how you get that done you must take time for yourself and especially when you you know have a responsibility on your shoulders of planning things and you know having your children you're juggling so many balls you're wearing so many hats you have to take that time for yourself um, you can also go to a local coffee shop <laughs> whatever now what I used to do my idea of alone time was sitting in the bathroom with a sweet treat alone <laughs> however that didn't always work because you would hear mommy so yeah that didn't that didn't last too long I needed to actually get out of the house <laughs> okay and uh, me being a stay-at-home mom I'm constantly trying to find ways to be by myself so that I can replenish because um, you have to be on from the time you open your eyes to the time you close them somebody's needing something something's going on or whatever so you have to get that time and I I'm speaking to myself first because I don't do it as much as I should and I realize that I get to those moments where I'm just like I need a moment you know and sometimes you go away thinking you know um, you know you're away you get your time but then you're sitting there you're alone you're to yourself and it's great but then you're like okay I wonder what the kids are doing like <sighs> the schizophrenic life of mommyhood <laughs> it's like I want a break okay I got a break okay are they okay <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna do with ourselves I'm telling you we're a mess all right the fourth thing uh, that you can do to uh, self-care for yourself is I recommend a long bath or go to a spa now nothing is more relaxing than stepping into a hot bath beautiful smelling essential oils uh, regular oils in there jojoba olive oil um, whatever good oil you can get your hands on and just sitting in the tub with some bubbles and just relaxing that is awesome to me now um, spas can be expensive so if it's not in your budget then you do what I call a hood spa <laughs> what's a hood spa well 
a hood spot is a spot at, at your house, okay? And what you do is you get uh, some body wash. You make the tub as hot as you can stand it. Squeeze that body wash in there. Pour a little olive oil in there. Go to the Dollar Tree. Get you some good smelling candles, okay? Put those around your tub, okay? And you sit in the tub. Now, before you get in the tub, you want to make sure you do a good exfoliation. So if you don't have an exfoliator brush, which is what I use now, you can use a body scrub. Um, and if even that's too pricey, what you do is you get you some fine grain salt, okay? Or some kind of fine grain. And then you pour a little oil in there, rub it, buff your skin out really good. Okay, don't do it too hard because you're not trying to, you know, break skin, but you're just trying to buff it out a bit. Then, after you do all of that, scrub yourself down real good, okay, release all that stress, hop yourself in the tub and just relax. And make sure when you get in the tub, all the water is coming up to here. Cover your chest, okay, cover your back. We carry a lot of our stress in our shoulders and in our back. So you definitely want to make sure you hit those areas so that your body can relax. It can release. Usually when you're stressed, your body tenses up like this. Okay? You want that to relax. And you just sit in there and, and just relax. I can't say that enough. Relax. <laughs> um, now, in Thailand, okay, which is where we're going, I heard that finding a tub is a little difficult. So if I can't find a place that has a tub, then what I'm going to do is still get my spa experience, but it's going to have to be in the shower. So what I'm going to do is still do the exfoliating. Uh, this time have a good smelling body wash um, and probably try to create a steam element into the shower, into the, to the room, the bathroom. Um, have Still have my candles and just, you know, either sit down in the shower and let the water run down or turn around and let that water run from the back of your neck all the way down and just let it beat down on your back just beat beat down on your back either way that is how you can accomplish getting the spa find little ways it doesn't have to be expensive it doesn't have to be pricey uh, when you are considering packing bags and and packing for these long trips create what I call a mommy spa pack and in that mommy spa pack, you put your essential oils or your oils or you put your, you know, your good scented, you know, body washes and, and a couple candles, a couple lighters, you know, put that in your pack. Make that a part of how you pack because you need that treat. You need that relaxation. Even if you are, you know, out in the boonies somewhere and all you got is a lake, lay down in the lake a little bit. Let that water run over the cross of your body after you buff off your skin. You know, let that water run over your body. Find creative ways to be able to cause yourself to have a spa experience. And I'm telling you, you can get real creative when you realize you don't have the money to go down the road to pay $50 for or whatever. Um, but then again, if you have the money to do that and you have the budget, schedule in a spa. Schedule in a massage. However you want to do it. But those things I feel like are also helpful because of that water therapy, the hydrotherapy, the aromatherapy, all of that stuff working in one um, can cause you to be able to relax. Okay? All right. Now, the last point that I want to make is exercise. Okay? Exercise is another way you can take care of yourself. Now, exercise is not necessarily a thing to quote unquote get skinny. Obviously, you know, if you're overweight, I'm overweight. <laughs> Uh, you want to work out and try to get off that excess weight that's definitely important but exercise is also good because it, it re your brain releases those good hormones good feeling hormones called endorphins and endorphins are very good for your body it's like the brain's painkiller you know and um, you also get a chance to sweat and to detox your body you also get an opportunity to relax relax your mind um, you know, and strengthening, strengthening your body also as well is very important. During that time, you also get an opportunity to, you know, release stress and tension that rises up in your body as well. So you feeling stressed, you feeling tight. Hey, you guys, I'm gonna see y'all in a second. I'm going for a walk. Um, you know, and if you don't feel like walking is doing much, find you a good hill, walk up the hill. And the good thing about exercise is you can do it anywhere. It doesn't matter where you are. Again, it doesn't matter if you're in the mountains somewhere or, you know, if you're on a private island, there's always a way to get that body moving and going. And I guarantee you, you will feel good. Um, 
me i tend to do high intensity training i love high intensity training what i do is i bike uh, as fast as I can for 30 minutes or 30 seconds bike as fast as I can 30 seconds and then bike for a minute at regular pace on an up incline so 30 minute one minute 30 minute one minute I do that 20 times and eventually I'll start to work my way up to even higher but even that is it's exhausting but I feel good if that makes any sense I feel empowered you know and all of that and exercise balances your mood so it's, it's very good very very good good stuff all right um, and it lowers fatigue yes lowers fatigue okay so you know and even if you do just 10 minutes you know that has some good anti-anxiety effects as well so take care of yourself let's take care of ourselves so that we can be the best people that we are we're only one of us there is nobody like us in the world we are special and we are valuable Okay, we're not here and put on this earth just to be workhorses for someone else. Uh, but we have some unique and special gifts that we can give and offer to other people and to ourselves. And so our priority must be to take care of ourselves so that we can pour out into other people. Okay, so I encourage you guys to do that. I encourage myself to do that as well. Um, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, if you have any comments, put them down below. Tell us how, you know, you guys are creatively out here in these streets, you know, doing spa days or what do you recommend? What things do you do to take care of yourself? If you are in an international country right now with your family, you know, how are you doing it? If you're riding in an RV, you know, what are some ways that you are doing uh, to take care of yourself or to create a more relaxed, you know, experience for yourself? So feel free to comment. If you have any questions, hit me down below. Thank you so much for watching and you guys have a great day.